classic roadsters traditionally come from one country, England. But at the end of the 1930s, a sports car from Germany emerged as a serious competitor, the BMW 328. This year marks the 75th birthday of this four-wheel dream. Test driver Christoph Bauer says forcing a pre-war car over mountain roads or maneuvering it through narrow alleyways like those here in Moena could give you the feeling you were doing something terrible to the vehicle. It can also be very demanding. But that's not the case with the 328. It's easy to drive, the gear shift is uncomplicated, and it has a lot of power, not at all like a pre-war car. The car was designed for racing right from the beginning. Its two-liter engine produced 80 horsepower, a real sensation back then. BMW opened a new chapter in the history of sports cars in 1936 with the 328. The compact two-seater set new standards in road holding, handling, and temperament. It left the competition in its wake. The 328 dominated its class of vehicle to such an extent that races became pure tests of individual BMWs. Anyone not driving a 328 had absolutely no chance at all. The 328 outshone the field at the Mille Miglia. Pushka von Hanstein and Walter Boima won the race in 1940. Christoph says the car is simply fun to drive. It has a sports car gene. The 328 was extremely successful on the racetrack, but those cars looked a lot different. The lavish bodywork on a model like this was for the consumer end of the market, which was very small. As far as the design goes, back then the English were seen as the only ones who could produce something as fine as this. But this model was made by Ludwig Weinberger in Munich. The Bavarian makers of the bodywork achieved an attractive mix of sports car and luxury convertible. The hood is secured with leather straps and the rear wheels covered by metal insets. Only a few hundred of the 328 were built, but 59 were customized in external body shops, like this one, which is owned by VW's Zeithaus Museum at the Autostadt complex in Wolfsburg. Ergonomics was not a common term back then, the flat doors and the huge steering wheel made things tight for the driver, but this car is still the incarnation of the ideal roadster. The engine was based on the 50 horsepower model used in the BMW 326. The engineers modified it to increase the output of the six cylinders to 80 horsepower in the 328. Christoph says the 328 set no records as far as production figures go, with only 464 of them made. But in the 1930s, this car was outstanding in its class and dominated the competition without mercy. And it's still clear when you drive the car today that this was a technical masterpiece and a landmark achievement. Definitiv ein Meilenstein.